So an introduction to cloud native security. Um, it's the maintainer track. Has the agenda for the presentation. We doing a quick introductions to SIG security and I will be discussing roadmap activities and initiatives and sharing information on how you can get involved. My name is Radna Chital. Um, I'm an executive for cloud security at a financial organization called TIAA. Uh, I'm also a technical lead for CNCF SIG security team and a research fellow for Cloud Security Alliance. Thank you. Andres, you wanna introduce yourself? Hi there, this is Andres Vega. Along with Aradna, I'm also a technical leader for the CNCF Special Interest Group for Security. And my day job is as a product line manager for product security at VMware for VMware Tansu. And we also have uh, Ash Narkar. Ash? Hi, Andres. Uh, my name is Ash Narkar. I'm a software engineer at Styra. I'm one of the maintainers of the Open Policy Agent. And I'm also one of the team leads at uh, Six Security. Aradna, so take us. Thank you, Andres. Um, so introduction to CNCF SIG security. What is SIG security? Cloud native security is complex. The ecosystem consists of multiple layers of infrastructure, platform components, service mesh, microservices, and so on and so forth. To add to that, there's a constant evolution and ever-changing landscape of tools and technologies. This makes for a very complex system to understand and manage for cloud consumers. And we know complexity is the enemy of security. Threat landscape constantly is evolving in the space of supply chain security, application code vulnerabilities, container breakouts, etc. Not having all the visibility as well as appropriate security tools and integrations into the different layers of cloud native projects leaves cloud consumers with a sense that cloud native ecosystem is too complex and is hard to understand in terms of operating it securely continuously. But that's where SIG security comes into play. SIG security is an open source community that is made up of cloud native security enthusiasts who want to make it simple to understand how to secure a cloud native ecosystem and provide best practices, tools, policies, and best practices guidance to the community. As we know, cloud native services are deployed in heterogeneous environments and having security controls across the ecosystem requires security policies be deployed in code. So in order to facilitate some of these guidances, as well as help the community, CNCF has major focus areas to support the community. Um, and some of those areas are provide guidance for protection of heterogeneous distribu distributed fast changing systems while providing access to tools and technologies, provide common understanding as well as common tools for developers to build security into the services as well as meet security and compliance requirements continually. At the same time, provide detection tools, common audit criteria about the cloud native ecosystem um, to the community so that they can maintain a sense of security throughout the life cycle of the services. There are a number of resources that uh, SIG Security has published. They provide use cases and personas. Um, at the same time, um, there are published best practices, patterns, um, architecture patterns, and anti-patterns as well. Um, several other security 
artifacts like security scenarios, sec network configurations, service orchestration, application security guidance, et cetera, is also published. Um, architectures and patterns for providing secure access. In addition to all of this, a security assessments of specific proposals and projects and several other resources, which can be found on some of the links that are provided in the slide. Um, there's a blog post where um, there's information about initiatives and any releases or assessments being conducted. Uh, we also have a GitHub presence where all the issues are logged and progress is made on those issues by the community and volunteers of SIG security. Uh, there's a Slack channel where you can post questions about any specific security issues you may be running in your implementation that anyone the community has faced could potentially help you with that. Uh, we do have regular meetings, um, weekly meetings in the United States um, on Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Um, GMT minus seven um, and bi-weekly meetings in the APAC time zone as well, which is um, on Tuesdays at 1 p.m. GMT plus 11 hours. Potentially we'll be starting an EU-based time zone um, uh, meeting as well, uh, based on the interests of the community and engagement um, and requirements from the EU community. So please feel free to attend any of these meetings to learn more about security and all the initiatives. Just want to share with you that we just recently got an award for most effective DevSecOps team of 2020 by DevSecCon. Uh, and that is Brandon Lum, one of our technical leads who's receiving the award on behalf of the community. So let's talk a little bit about the roadmap and initiatives of SIG Security in 2021. You can go to our um, GitHub page where the roadmap is published. Um, I just am showing a snapshot of the same on the screen. There are a number of initiatives which are being actively worked on and several are being still explored and there are proposals in the pipeline as well. Um, as you are aware of, the fact that um, SIG Security published a cloud native security white paper earlier this year, uh, which was read by the wider community, and we'll be talking a little more about that in the following slides. Um, there are security assessment projects in the queue. Um, there, are, there is a policy working group where there's much work going on. At the same time, um, there are future projects uh, in the pipeline, like serverless security, et cetera, which we'll be getting more into in the following slides. So with that, I would like to hand over to Ash. Ash, please take it away um, to continue um, the conversation about the SIG security white paper. Thank you. Thanks, Aradna. So uh, now we'll talk about the cloud native security white paper. So what is the Cloud Native Security White Paper? So it's a six security effort to ensure the cloud native community has access to information about building, distributing, deploying, and running cloud native capabilities. The paper is intended to be an initial starting point for the community in understanding the intricacies of a secure cloud native architecture it references to other resources that may help in providing in-depth information about a topic discussed in the paper so the reader may choose to research further. The white paper is intended to be a living document created and maintained for the community by six security members. So with that being said, we now have an effort to gather feedback around the white paper from readers of the paper and the community at large to gauge the effectiveness of the white paper, how we can improve on the white paper and so on. And to do that, we've started a survey which captures questions like, how much of the white paper have you read? Or what aspect of security would you like the community to focus on? So if you all wanna get involved, uh, please uh, go ahead and participate in the survey. And also if you wanna be part of the team that's leading this effort, 
uh, check out issue 480 on the six security depot. Uh, now let's talk about the cloud native security map. So the white paper that we saw in the previous slide, it provides us an introduction of different aspects of cloud native security, but it avoided any specific projects and products that readers could practically use for a specific use case. So for example, you did not see any mention of projects like Kubernetes or Open Policy Agent in the white paper as a means for performing orchestration or, cloud or policy enforcement and so on. So the motivation behind the cloud native security map is to fill this gap and provide a practical viewpoint of the topics covered in the white paper. As we've seen before, the white paper talks about four phases. You have develop, you have distribute, you have deploy and runtime to create resilient and observable workloads which can be run in your clouds. And so now you have the security map that attempts to provide a mapping of CNCF and open source projects to these four phases in the white paper. The map also provides examples of how these tools can be utilized in a particular category, thereby providing users a one-stop shop to explore available technologies and how they can be leveraged in their frameworks. So if this sounds interesting and you'll wanna be part of the team which is leading this effort, check out the issue 551 in the SIG security repo. And then finally, uh, we wanted to provide you a snapshot of the first iteration of the cloud native security map. So on the left pane, you'll see those four phases, the develop, the distribute, the deploy, and the runtime. And you see uh, there are subsections for each phase. So for example, you have a container application manifest phase or a section which lists all the projects that are part of this section, which can perform application manifest uh, security. And then you can also see examples of how you can use those projects to actually uh, inside your architectures to secure your frameworks. So the map is a work in progress and we plan to add more interactive and user-friendly features in the map in the future. I hand it over now to Andres. Thanks, Ash. That's awesome, by the way. Well, Security means different things to different people. And you can be secure without knowing you're secure, or you might think you're secure without that actually being the case. Being that it means different things to different people and depending our, on our background and experience, folks in the group tend to organize based on interest, based on areas that they might have the most energy to tackle the problem. Given recent incidents and high profile attacks that have taken in, in recent time, one of the areas that there's a lot of interest to capture a framework that provides recommended practices and tools is securing supply chains. Within the special interest group, we can form a working group. Uh, as a matter of fact, there's a talk on the main track of, of the event here at KubeCon titled Protecting Ourselves from CNCF Gate, Software Supply Chain Security at CNCF Practices and Tools, where members of the SIG are presenting the work that culminated from folks having gathered for the last three months to talk about what are some of the lessons learned and how to fit, fit recommendations and how to fit different tools from the parts bin to uh, fit varying risk profiles of, of organizations. There's quite a bit of substance in, in the talk, even though uh, so far the work similar to the uh, cloud native map, cloud native security map, it's been somewhat conceptual. We're starting to get to uh, a semblance of architecture and implementation. Uh, the group 
the work from the group is going to be evolving and taking the content that's been produced to be presented as a white paper that is in the final stages of review. And by the time that we get to the date of the event, as we're pre-recording the talk, most likely the paper will have be, been published. But from there on and getting community review, we really want to get to a capturing that framework and producing templates and code samples that you can customize and modify to fit your requirements and adapt to your different processes and tools that you might have in place. So once again, one, one of the many projects that Aradna touched in the roadmap, this is just to give you an exhibit of things that SIG Security does. Another great example of uh, the ongoing work that SIG Security performs is that of reviewing the security properties and the security aspects of the different projects in the ecosystem. The goal behind the security assessments is to provide adopters as well as newcomers to the technology a glance at failure modes and security of a particular project. We produce threat models for the different software. The idea is uh, providing the documentation and the analysis from a security standpoint can really accelerate adoption cycles when people are evaluating the usage of, of technology into their production environments and help them help them be conversant and articulate just we have a large pool of security experts that are coming together and are analyzing the projects at a very detailed level, taking into account a lot of different considerations just to make people who come down the line give them a better understanding of everything pertaining to security. The assessments have been done for a number of projects, including Harbor, Keycloak, Open Policy Agent, Spire. I might be missing a few. We have them all available as open source. You can read through the architecture, the thread modeling, the software development best practices, how the projects handle vulnerabilities, et cetera. Here's a sample, uh, but uh, come by this SIG security repository, github.com slash SIG dash security. Sorry, github.com slash CNCF slash SIG dash security. And you'll be able to look at the different assessments that have been performed. Another of these streams is given that we established a bench of security experts really well-rounded on, on the different areas that, that make up cloud security, different organizations or the broader CNCF and Linux Foundation have come to SIG security to tap into that pool of experts. A great example is the recent CKS certification, the Certified Kubernetes Security Specialist, Linux Foundation Learning pulled into SIG Security to get the authors for the curricula, the exam questions, all the content surrounding. And it's, it's a great opportunity to contribute your, your expertise and get, get exposure and, and visibility and increase the the breadth of, of, of your impact, really. The, the last example I'll, I'll be talking about myself is the organization and production of events that we use as a stage and we use as an arena to get cloud native security in front of other people and use it as a platform 
to discuss breakthrough ideas, discuss innovation, new technologies, provide presentations parallel to uh, KubeCon and Cloud Native Con. By the time you're going to be listening to this talk, we will already have concluded Cloud Native Security Day and the talks will have been made available for posterity. But the program committee for, for the event came out from SIG Security. So you can get a glance of what type of, of work and what type of results come out from involvement in the group. And parallel to all the sessions we hosted and the really good content we got in there, we also collaborated to produce a interactive capture the flag activity where different people could come in and get hands-on around attack and defense as scenarios, applying cloud native security into practice. So this is one, just one of the many things we do around production of, of events. With that said, I will pass it back to Aradna to exemplify another of the initiatives we do and, and close us up from there. Thank you, Andres. Serverless computing refers to the concept of building as well as running an application that doesn't require server management. Um, that doesn't mean that we don't need to use servers anymore or host and run code. It just means that functionality is offloaded to a provider and the serverless consumer only needs to worry about the application code that they need to run in that environment. There are a number of threats when it comes to serverless deployments today because of the different components um, and the integrations that are possible with serverless microservices that are deployed in a, a cloud native environment. Um, obviously, this is a pay as you go model. You have infinite scalability because of the cloud provider capabilities in this space. Uh, as we know, there are a number of serverless platforms out there, including open source ones like OpenVisk. Um, AWS has AWS Lambda and um, Google Functions and Azure Function platforms are also available in the industry. And um, open source community is also coming up with a few other platforms. These are stateless, easily parallelized. They're highly dynamic and they can communicate asyn asynchronously with other uh, services as well as components. There's much work that has been done by the serverless um, working group in CNCF, but the initiative that we are kicking mm -hmm. off later this year will be focusing on serverless security, the security aspects of deploying serverless functions. What are the threats? How do we mitigate them? What are the best practices at different layers that a serverless consumer has to worry about? At the same time, the persona of a provider and what functionality and what security they need to provide to provide enough visibility to the consumer organizations um, is also going to be addressed as part of that uh, security best practices um, guidance that CNCF SIG security will be working on later this year. The timeframe um, is sometime in Q3 and Q4, depending on the bandwidth of the participants. But this is um, going to be an interesting piece of work that we embark on. So I encourage you to get involved and participate and uh, get your voice in. And um, also, if you are having challenges in the serverless space for securing your platform or services, um, that'd be a good place to have interaction with other people who are deploying their services as well. So I welcome your participation in this working group and make impact to the industry. Thank you. Awesome. Back to you. <laughs> Thanks for that. Uh, with that, we just want to wrap up and state hopefully the different work streams and activities that the special interest group for security is driving are meaningful and relevant to you. 
uh, we we want to make this as active, participative, and collaborative as we possibly can. We want to encourage your participation. Everyone is welcome. Whether you're a software developer, you're an architect, you're someone that perhaps has a supporting function to cloud native in a less technical role, be it you're a project manager or you're a product manager, we want to uh, state that like, well, the, the more the merrier and the better rounded and balanced set of skills we can bring in, uh, there's room for it here. There's certainly need uh, and we would love to have your help. So great starting point is the GitHub repository for the special interest group. But aside of that, feel free to reach out to any of us directly through GitHub or Slack. And with that said, I hope you, you keep everything secure and you enjoy the rest of the event. Ash, any parting thoughts? Uh, no, it's like Andre says, join us. We are open to discussing all things security. We have weekly meetings. So join us for that if you're interested about security and want to learn more. And uh, we are happy to talk to you all. Thank you.